welcome back to my channel Cook Live Love. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you get all the latest updates. Today I'm going to make for you my favourite cauliflower and cheesy muffins. These came about because I needed something quick and easy in the morning for breakfast that, that was so a muffin is great for that but didn't have the carbs and the weight of a traditional muffin. So I'm gonna show you how to make my cauliflower muffins. Um, they're not just great for breakfast on the go, but excellent for lunch boxes as well. Okay, so I've got a head of cauliflower here that I've cut up into florets, pretty big ones, and I've even also used the core. So that's all gonna go in. Sometimes it's actually best if you do these things in batches. So we're going to give that a bit of a chop. And we want it just so it's like a riced consistency. Let's have a look. I'll show you in the bowl. And then we're just going to set that aside. That didn't take long at all, just four seconds on speed four. And the second half of the batch. And just make sure that everything gets chopped evenly. to clean the bowl. This time we're going to chop some cheese, 100 to 200 grams of cheese. Um, I had some leftover mozzarella and pecorino in the fridge from another project, um, so I'm just going to pop all of that in. And chop that up on about speed eight. long because the mozzarella will soon go to a paste, so just enough to get it to a nice grated consistency. You see that there? Beautiful. Okay, that's that done. Next up is onions, a couple of onions and some about 150 grams of ham or bacon, so it's a nice streaky bacon. I'm using and you can use some greens as well. We might put those in a bit later. Okay, so a bit of a chop of this one, going on speed four. Great. So we just want that nice sort of not too finely chopped consistency. Still want some bits of the bacon to come through. Okay. And then one last thing, you can do spinach or um, nice green leafy herbs. I've just taken some basil and some parsley from my herb garden. So a quick chop of that. on speed four and five. I'm take a second. This recipe is on the Thermomix recipe community and I'll share a link um, in the comments below. Okay, so that's really good. We're going to pop all of our pre-chopped set aside bacon, onion, cheese, and cauliflower mixture back into the bowl. Getting all of that bacon and cheese in there. Being careful not to go over the maximum line. We can leave some cauliflower out if we're maxing out there. There's quite a bit of cauliflower, they all vary in size. Okay, so then I've got six eggs. I'm gonna pop in there. 
can use garlic powder or garlic um, or clove of garlic but do you remember in one of my other videos I showed you how to make garlic paste so I'm using some of that a little bit of cayenne pepper just a little bit give it a bit of a kick lots of lovely freshly ground pepper and a good pinch of salt loving this awesome sea salt okay Let's go. I'll keep going with that and giving it a good mix. Mixing the cauliflower, let's go on to reverse. Reverse and using the spatula. Let's try speed three, three and a half to four. We'll give it a really good Okay, depending on how much cauliflower you've actually used will actually depend on how many eggs you need to get that kind of cakey batter. This is still looking a little bit dry, so I'm going to add maybe one or two more eggs to the mix. Some nice organic eggs. Two more eggs. And that should do us. Okay, move back on. Still on reverse, speed four. And using the spatula again to get in there. That's looking a lot better. Okay, nice work. Let's clear some of this. Next, what we've got is a large muffin pan, and I've lined it with some pre bought muffin papers. You can actually make these yourself nice and cheaply, but you can buy them at the shop in a tube like that. So, some muffin papers down. And using a nice big spoon, you can see that there, start to fill. Now these won't really rise, maybe a little bit with, with the egg, but not that much. So fill them up to as much as you want in your muffins. So I'm going to fill them, fill them up pretty big, make them good sized breakfast muffins. Okay, so that's starting to look pretty good. There's pictures of these close-ups that I'll share with you so you can see what's going on here. I'm going to finish making the rest of these muffins and in the oven 180 for around about 20 to 30 minutes and see how they go. We are going to top each one with half a cherry tomato just for good looks. You can also sprinkle a little bit of salt or cheese back on there as well. I'll be right back. Okay so they're all ready to go in the oven that batch perfectly did 12 really good size muffins. Top them off with um, a cherry tomato half and a little bit of salt. So now in the oven, 20 to 30 minutes, 180 degrees. I'll be back soon. Welcome back. The muffins are out of the oven and they look and smell incredible. It only took 30 minutes and they're golden brown and absolutely delicious looking. While they were cooking, I did a quick add up and I worked out that these muffins cost around about $1.30 each to make. Even cheaper if you're using up leftovers um, like I did with the leftover cheese and your own herbs. So $1.30, just look at how beautiful that is. Gorgeous cauliflower cheese and bacon muffins. How long do you think they're going to last in my house? 
not very long, I don't think. Well, I hope I've inspired you to think about cauliflowers in another way and get into the cauliflower and cheesy muffins for your next breakfast on the run. Bye for now.